Hi, I'm Brett Barton. I'm the video director at BYU Idaho. Welcome to another episode of Backstage at BYU Idaho. This week, we wanted to give you a backstage tour of one of BYU Idaho's biggest productions. It happens every week, Devotional. Perhaps one of the most unique university experiences in all of higher education. 16,000 BYU Idaho campus students, 2,000 university employees, and even more online employees and students from around the world have an opportunity to attend, view, and participate every Tuesday afternoon. Visits from general authorities, notable church figures, local ecclesiastical leaders, and BYU Idaho employees and faculty have for decades provided deep and heartfelt messages to students. And who knows, maybe one of you will be giving the next devotional via satellite. But what is often not seen is the work that goes on behind the scenes. So here's a backstage look at devotional. So I do have a question. Is it a really stressful experience when people go off the teleprompter? Um, when they go off, it can be. Um, <laughs> I used to work at the church, and there were a few, President Monson being one of them, that liked to go off and tell stories. Right. And yeah, you just it gets a little stressful because the people on the teleprompter need to make sure they come back at the right spot. And mm -hmm. Yeah, um, everybody funny. everybody knows when someone goes off. I kid. heard also that there's lots of rumors that go uh -huh. around about this department, and I heard that the waiting room for like the speakers before they go out to devotional looks like the celestial room in the temple. Oh, you want to go see it? Well, yeah, I'll show it to you. I definitely do. Okay. Here's a fun fact. Behind the scenes, there are two of everything. Two audio rooms, two control rooms, two recording rooms. Everything is duplicated behind the scenes just in case something goes wrong. This is master control. Uh, this room's kind of mainly camera control. Uh, okay. So every, all of our, I'll show you downstairs, there, we have remote cameras all in right. the auditorium that you've probably seen. Those are all controlled up here. So we'll have students at each station and they'll you know, um, zoom, pan, tilt, just with these joysticks, um, and control the cam cameras up here, and they have really they these nice slow zooms. And, right. Um, and then they have presets here that they can jump to, like if we have a pulpit shot that we always get, we mm -hmm. need to go back to that quick, they can just hit the button, and it, just, and it punches back in. Are all of the camera angles, like, planned out? Um, or is it just kind of your turn? For devotional... We have quite a few things planned out. It's pretty right. cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. um, other other broadcasts or events that we do, uh, like over at the Hard or at the Taylor, some of them just kind of fly by the seat of our pants. And, and right. Some of them, some of them have rundowns. We know what's going to happen. Other times, we don't really know. I don't know if there's a facility around the country, a college this size that has such that a nice has, facility. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's really a lot similar to the camp, uh, conference center yeah. uh, in a lot of ways. Here's a fun fact. The auditorium stage is 106 feet wide. There are 15,000 seats in the auditorium, and it took 13 weeks just to deliver seats at a rate of two semi-trucks per day. There's 17,000 yards of carpet for just the auditorium room, and the roof is four acres big. There are 7,000 light fixtures and 212 toilets. So, what is one of the most stressful situations you've ever encountered at Devotional? At Devotional? Um, probably the second week I was here, we had uh, issues in Control Room 1, and we had to jump out of there, go into Control Room 2, and, and start everything and up, start everything up <laughs> and, and get that working. That was wow. probably the most stressful, just because... But, but we were able to get everything going, and, and it, it went just fine. I don't know if it's the celestial room. Wow. Well. <laughs> okay. Nice. So this is, yeah, any time a general authority, anybody that's speaking, this is kind of where they hang out. We'll have mints and drinks and nice. stuff for them. They've got, if they want a little privacy, uh, a lot of times we'll do makeup or something in this room. Right. Go over their song. Yeah, so they can hang out. So, what's the process for like choosing a speaker? <coughs> That's a good question. U University relations, I think, takes care of that. Right. They give us a schedule for the year, and it seems like every month Salt Lake is assigned one 
speaker or right. something like that. So uh, this month, obviously, or last month was Elder Bednar. Elder Bednar right. This month, I'm not sure who it is yet. Um, okay. But after that, for devotional speakers, um, I don't know how they, I know the I think University Relations sends out invites to people to choose. They just pick and choose. Employees around campus. Right, that's I'm cool. Sure that I'm just glad I do this job so I don't have to be in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and then University Relations, do they give them a topic? Or do they just get to decide? That's a great know? question. I, I don't think they give them a topic. I okay. think they get to decide. So for each devotional, we get several things. We'll get uh, the talk usually about a week or two in advance. And then University Relations will go through, and they'll mark all of the graphics for us. So we don't have to um, guess or anything. We just know these are the graphics that... Um, there are, and then they'll send those graphics over to us. Mm -hmm. Usually pre-built and ready to go. We may have to fix them a little. Gotcha. Um, so then I'll go through and mark this script with what cameras. You know, we'll go through oh, and mark okay. which cameras we want to be on the speaker when and that kind of thing. So that's one thing we'll get is a talk in advance. The other things we get are the music. So each week we'll get a, um, whoever is directing the music will usually send this over. And then um, what I'll try to do is go over with the camera and record them rehearsing the, um, usually on a Monday before devotional. Oh. They'll rehearse it, then I can bring that video recording back, go through it, and find which cameras we want on right. where uh, throughout the song, and we'll mark it according to the music. So you can see I've got cameras marked. This was definitely one of the funner interviews that I've done. I got to tour the entire backstage portion of the BYU-Idaho Center and know everything that happens behind the scenes at a devotional. It's a lot of hard work. Post in the comments below one of your favorite devotional speeches. Keep learning. Keep uplifting. Keep uplifting.